midges, midges, midges. But look at that. <laughs> Absolute cloud of midges. Look, just look, 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 look. Northern sky. I mean, northern sky. The Isle of Sky, uh, and I, I'll pronounce this incorrectly, but Quirang, Quirang, uh, is this kind of geological fault that runs along the top end of the island. But look around me, look around me. Millions of midges, millions of midges. Um, but I've been thinking about this image uh, and this view uh, for a couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe actually a couple of months. Uh, I'm trying to get an image with the road in. Oh, the midges are terrible. I'm just going to put this down. The midges are oh, horrendous. I'm going to put this down. Sorry. I know it's not ideal, but the midges are horrendous. Never seen it so bad. Um, oh, I've never seen so many midges. It was terrible, absolutely terrible. Just clouds and clouds and clouds. Um, but it, it's got everything, really. A uh, couple of little lockens, a couple of peaks, a little bit of cloud, blue sky, road curving in the distance. Um, so, or in the foreground, I should say. Um, so I'll come back to the camera and, and kind of give you what I'm trying to do. Now, it's such a, a landscape. I've had to, oh, I've been bitten alive, um, uh, work on a, a panorama. So the panorama starts with these two, two little uh, lock and, and runs to about here. So it's only a two-step panorama. Um, got a, a, a graduated filter in, but I'm also doing a bit of bracketing um, on the basis that there's a big contrast um, between that brightness in the sky and the darkness here uh, and the brightness falling on kind of that side of the mountain. So uh, just doing a, a, a two stop. Oh, by God, these midges are bad. Uh, a, a two shot panorama. Um, working through a, a kind of field of view a bit like this. So hopefully you can, you know, the sky, ignore it. It's, it's hugely overexposed. Just an image like that. One, two, fairly straightforward. And I'm taking one reading off the sky uh, and I'm on F11, which gives me 60th of a second. So take one there, one reading off the, the land. So dark bit of the process this gives me 13th of a second and then just spin about there do the same but in reverse reading off the land reading off the sky uh, and Bob's your uncle um, but just a spectacular spot and, and there's a fantastic view that way um, and I think if I, God, midges all over my hands, midges all over my hands. I'm gonna go up there and see what sort of view that gives me. Uh, so I'll speak to you in a minute. Uh, so apologies, I'll, I'll try and hold the GoPro a bit closer because the batteries run out in my uh, sound recorder, which is great. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'll try and make sure I uh, speak clearly uh, and hopefully you can bear with me. Um, but I've moved uh, 100 yards, but uh, I think this is a better angle uh, in that um, gives me a nice view of these uh, two Lochen here uh, and then the two kind of mountains in, in the foreground. But then the one in the distance sits nicely with a bit of cloud on it between the two. Uh, so I think that angle's better. Uh, but <laughs> how are you? Head for hikes. That's a... That's a sheer drop. <laughs> so um, if you if you suffer from vertigo, you don't want to be stood here. Well, that is, it's just spectacular. I, I I have to admit, I've seen images from here before, um, and uh, I, I've kind of when I've seen them, I thought that would be a great place to be, and it lives up to expectations. Oh, there's a couple of little birds flying through there. So um, absolutely kind of special. It's late evening, so uh, what time is it? It's quarter past eight, so it's not that late evening. Uh, sun's another, it'll be down over that peak in a few minutes, but sunset at the, rise, at the horizon is about half past nine, so it's about an hour and a quarter left. I am being eaten alive. This is the worst midges I've ever known. Um, but I'm, I'm liking the way the cloud is developing. Um, but I'm, I'm just wondering. I don't, I don't know this area at all well. Just wondering about maybe heading. Let's have a look. <laughs> you can do all the planning in the world. Um, 
but uh, by looking at maps and uh, kind of googling and all that type of thing um, but it's not quite the same as being a seeing in in the flesh now I can't get over there because there's a I can head down that way I don't know if I go up there I'm not going to get anything much different from, from being here so just going to stay here a little while and uh, see what develops if you pardon the pun well, I've, I've come up onto one of the ridges, but the midges have still followed me. <laughs> um, so previously, I was out. Uh, so the road comes up here. I was out over on those ridges over there. So I've just come up onto the other side uh, just to try and get a kind of different angle. So I, I did a few with the road, which I'll have hopefully already posted. Um, but I wanted to come a bit closer. I, I, find, I find this, um, uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, I'll look it up. But this, it's got a really attractive shape to it. And as I was coming up the ridge, I thought there's a nice composition here with this cliff edge, uh, this mound, mountain. There's a little lock down here, and then there's the mountain in the distance. So I've gone um, kind of vertical. Um, and uh, what I'm trying to do, I'm doing a, a kind of a panorama, but I'm started over here. Um, and I'm on F11, uh, I've got my uh, grad filter in but I'm trying to get a, an image that covers off uh, I'm just bracketing somebody camping over there uh, just trying to get an image that covers off kind of the flow of the kind of the cliff edge uh, this line coming through through here that cliff edge the mountain in the distance i think it's a nice kind of combination because these are kind of equidistant from each other got the nice interest in the uh in the lock down in the foreground and then a bit of color up in the sky so hopefully that works just a, a two-shot panorama and i'm going to see if i can wander up to the top there uh, but it's really warm <laughs> and uh sun's gone behind some clouds a little bit of a wind picked up so hopefully it keeps the midges at bay <laughs> never seen midges like that um, but anyway I've come up another another peak there's those uh, those little locken uh, down there and uh, I had considered going to the very top but I'm not sure I'd get anything better up there than I am getting from here uh, and it's great it's the, the vantage point here feels like you stood right at the top of the Isle of Sky, which I'm actually not far from the top of the Isle of Sky, looking down the whole kind of length of sky uh, and across to the mainland and all the pools over in that direction and the summer isles over there, if I've got my geography right. But what I'm doing here, I'm just looking at that peak uh, in the distance and I've, I've focused in on that quite closely because I like this big cloud that's been illuminated on top of it. So I... Uh, just gone in for, for that peak basically in fact i might zoom in a bit go a bit closer and just tilt back a bit to get the cloud so the cloud is interesting uh so i've i'm on f11 i've focused on the peak it's not really interesting in the foreground uh and i'm going to bracket and what I hope what I hope that gives me is a kind of nice image of the mountain with the cloud coming over the top uh, I think it probably possibly will. Um, bit of an experiment uh, from this distance, zooming in all that way. Uh, but this, I don't want to blind you. Um, but the sun's maybe 20 minutes. Let's have a look. Yeah, about half an hour from being down. So uh, I'm going to stay, stick around here, take a few more of that, uh, and then maybe head back down might actually take an image over that way because um, the sun's not really playing a factor there and it's quite a nice jaggedy kind of uh, silhouette but uh, I'll see what I can get from that one so stick with me well working my way back down and uh, sun is more or less kind of hitting the horizon uh, a couple of clouds have appeared so uh, Caused it a bit of uh, uh, an issue, and I'm actually, I've actually been trying to 
get some images of just this r road um, curving around against this kind of backdrop but uh, proving quite difficult because it's not quite dark enough yet so what would be great would be to get kind of light trails coming down which I'm sure it would be fairly straightforward to do when it's dark but it's not dark enough now uh, and I haven't got time to wait and, and do that because I've got to get back uh, and, and do other things um, so hope you enjoyed that uh, trip to the I'm not even, how would you pronounce it? Qu Quirang? Qu Quirang? <laughs> Someone who's a Gaelic speaker, let me know. And I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed the views of the mountains and uh, enjoyed the video without having to suffer the midges. Literally the worst I have ever seen and I've seen a lot of midges in my life. So if you do come uh, to this part of the world, bring one of these, at least one. I've got two, <laughs> just in case. Um, just clouds and clouds of midges. So I put up the binges so you don't have to. <laughs> so um, hope to see you next time. And don't forget, I mentioned in a previous video, if anybody has any experience or lives uh, in Tromsø in northern Norway uh, and can give me any recommendations, do let me know because I'll be there in a couple of months and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.